Hello everyone, welcome back to Quake. Let's see if we can get this done. Um, I, I forgot what we were doing, but it, I know it was really hard. I have a feeling that once we've wasted all our ammunition on these losers here, uh, we then have to... Excuse me, what? Excuse me a minute. There we go. Uh, this may be a bit of an abortive attempt because something opened up, minimized my game, which I believe continued running because it is from a time when minimizing a game was not a thing, let alone an option. Uh, so if, if I was just standing there taking damage, you know what happened. I don't even know what it was. It was a tiny window. And the window had no um, content. It was, <laughs> it was literally just a title bar with... Um... Oh! I realized what I could have done. All right, all right. I think we know it. No load. Uh, so I don't know what it was. I don't know who ordered it. Uh, please send it back. Uh, this is, I don't like this window. This is not my, not my flavor. Die. Okay, good. Probably should let them fight each other to get as much damage done to things without costing me anything as possible. But I'm not into that sort of maverick lifestyle. This is a uh, run around and explode everything with hecka weapons sort of game. Ow! Not a... You know, pardon my French. Pussyfoot around trying to... Uh, help. Trying to um, achieve uh, a noble but essentially useless goal. When you can just reload uh, and be back where you were. I would point out, I think I already have, that the Legions of Hell have been eminently successful many times over it's just that i keep coming back much like the the doom slayer in uh, our, our new doom series there i keep coming back armed with some weird prescience it must be to them because obviously i i come along and they're looking at me going S excuse me how are you armed with this knowledge that oh hello i'm confused let's go back <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Uh, you know, I've come back into this world armed with a, a arcane and voodoo knowledge about what's about to happen to me. You know, their, um, their, the placement of all the enemies, their best uh, strategists have lined them up in such a, a specific fashion. And, and I walk around the corner knowing exactly where they're going to be. Aim directly in their faces and just let loose on... Let rip with, with a, a huge number of uh, rockets and uh, and other assorted uh, armaments, and it's just not it's not fair. I mean, it shouldn't be allowed. How did I gain this knowledge of foresight w without being? I mean, how can you fight back against such things? Also, where the heck do I go? <laughs> there's there's no there's no Defense, there's no way of knowing. I'm sure I saw something up there. I don't think I did, though. I keep seeing things, I'm like, can I get up there? Is that for me? <laughs> can I have it? I can have it. Well, done. You. we'll, we'll do this again. Um, I think there was something for me, but I don't know where it was. So I want to give myself the opportunity to try it. At least with... <laughs> Look. <laughs> I know you've seen me do it a thousand times. Don't be surprised. I'm going to save it when it's time to save it. We have that okay, over there. So I was actually wondering where that might be. I think we knew this up front, you know. Also, what is in there? We should check that out. This is strange. I've... Oh, I remember that. Oh, heck. Mm, brain. Secret level! I found the secret level. One of four secrets means nothing to me when I've literally just found the secret level. Go heck yourself. I, please recall, as I have said, and I was not fibbing to you, I have not played this uh, chapter before. I believe at all. So, I, I'm finding these things on my own, first time round. I want you to be impressed with me because that is why I'm using... This is my... Uh, 
I sound like a child asking his mother to be uh, <laughs> to look at the painting it's done. I, all on my very own, have found a secret level from a game released in 1996. Hidden so well that only somebody with the, um, the, the skills of a 2019 MLG gamer who tries to shoot something with an axe could possibly have inferred from the situation at hand, even though it was really, really obvious and sort of lined up for me. Where are you? Much as I was not prepared to wait for the enemies to shoot one another in the previous level, I will spend some more time uh, simply attacking this thing from a distance where it can't hit me in preference to just going up to it and punching it in the face, which kind of would be the course of action you'd expect me to take if you'd heard me speak earlier on, uh, which you had because you were listening whilst I was quite fine. Okay. Uh, in this case, we will do this. That didn't work so well. Player was destroyed by an ogre. It was me, I admit it. This is the player, that was the ogre. You hurt yourselves with these explosions. Because I hurt myself with explosions. I think it's only fair. Let's leave those for now. Um, this is a strange level. What's it called? The Haunted Halls. Oh. Understandable. So, um, I have no uh, nails yet. Which I understand now is why the uh, use of the nail gun in the previous attempt was maybe ill-advised. That hurt, even though I didn't think it did. <laughs> Let's just do that, and then pick that up, and then you come back, and then Q, and then uh, there we go, and rocks fall, everybody dies. Right? You got you. That's nice. So, <laughs> where were we? What was here? Nothing. Right. Um, there was a baddie up there. Yep. Which I can probably eliminate thus. Eliminate is also the uh, circumlocution that we use to talk about dogs going poop. Because no one wants to talk about dogs going poop. I do actually appreciate that in, in this modern era, we have started to, at the very least, um, speak more plainly. He says... Obviously, uh, me personally, not so much. I, I don't find it's good for business, to be honest with you. Um, I, I couldn't really care less about whether you understand me as long as you know that I have long words at my disposal. My vocabulary is big. And... Uh, uh, mm, yikes. Uh, no, I, I appreciate the fact that we've stopped, you know, beating about the bush uh, when it comes to you know, bodily functions, sex... Mm, masturbation. We're allowed to talk about masturbation now uh, without being completely uh, help. I wanted to go past those, but they turned into standing up things. It certainly is a, a strange. Just, just die. You die, right? And then we can get rid of you. Lot. In in the old days, no one will talk about anything sort of contraindicated by I'll say it okay we're a Christian country and lots of our legislation and culture is very heavily not just influenced but lifted directly from uh, Christian doctrine which helpfully matches many doctrines that have migrated into our country because there's a whole Judeo-Christians, the Abrahamic religions all have very similar Draconic and you know unfair rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going there. Uh, especially the morality about th things like sex it is a big deal when it comes to uh, Christian doctrine. And what really bothers me the most is that you you can get uh, uh, you have to be 18 to watch sexual activity on TV or in games or stuff like that. You know, if if there are sexy bits or References to sex, you're probably going to get some, uh, <clears throat> not necessarily 18, but certainly you're going to require a, a certificate of age 
Now, why would there be steps here? Ah. This, this is where I have not yet been. Ah! This is not fun. Do not like this. Why, why do you just... Why, why is this a thing? <laughs> Did I save it? No. Of course I didn't. Who, who do you think I am? This is going to be another one of those episodes where we talk about stuff instead of the game, because we end up redoing the same game over and over again. At least we know what's coming with our eerie prescience that these enemies uh, are, are irritated and angered by, because somehow they know that I'm that they're wait. They I know that they're waiting for me behind this uh, th this door. How could how could I possibly know this? Infeasible, and yet here I am, just casually having a shotgun ready to go. Stop there. There you go. And then this one. But uh, I think what bothers me the most about what I'm going to call the sort of the, the Christian influence, the Abrahamic influence, is that. Violence is extremely well accepted. Um, uh, kind of less and less so these days, but you know the sort of the the idea is in general that if you've got violence, even like, even a, a PG film can have a certain amount of violence in it, but like absolutely no sex. Okay, how dare you even consider the idea of uh, referring to sexual practices of any type? Not even the most vanilla, uh, the vanilla missionary. Even missionary style is even named after the, uh, the Christian doctrine. I don't know if it's intended to take the mick or what, but it, it does take the mick because, you know, I mean, it's right there in the name. It's the only type of sex you're allowed to have if you're going around Africa converting people from ancient and spiritual nature-loving religions to this monstrous... Okay, let's stop bashing on Christianity. I'm bashing on all of the Abrahamic religions, actually, so uh, heck you. Also, this is my, essentially, podcast. I will tell you my opinions, which is this. Also, also... The whole point was that why should sexual conduct be considered inappropriate while you know straight up shooting people in the face is <laughs> it's the the age difference is what gets me the most right i i can understand that you would want ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. okay safe keep yourself slightly aware of what the heck is going on so you know where you are. Let's, uh, we'll come back to that discussion because of reasons. We're going to go up here. We're going to open what I assume is that door down there. And then take this quad damage. Leg it through the door. Shoot this button and shoot this joker before it all goes horribly wrong. Nice. Okay, we only lost a little bit of HP doing that. And I have no idea what happened, but we got dumped in that. I reacted faster than I've ever reacted to anything in my life. Realized there was a button. Stood on the button. Flipping, I got and only gone and flipping shot the other button. Quickly realizing that that was a thing. So this is where this goes. Which teleported doesn't fit out right. Okay, so that's a teleporty button. <laughs> okay. Uh... That was a weird trap. And uh, now we're back to full health again. So, uh, quick save it. Quick save would have been better, wouldn't it? Is there a quick save? I assume so, but I never really sort of drew attention to the idea. Let's have a look. Options. Controls. Not seeing it. Not going to look for too long. It's You don't want to see me reading menus. We've already done that, that was episode one. Go and have a look if you like that sort of thing. This is obvious what's going to happen here. Yep, and it was less obvious actually. We should probably um, use the shotgun again. 
Why are you out of sync? Don't like this thing, do you? Yeah. I know they have homing missiles over there, so I want to make sure that I'm behind the... Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I want to make sure I'm behind the thingy before it uh, fires the shot, but it died pretty quickly from that much assault. Run. Get back down here and pick up that flipping HP. That hurt. Maybe I shouldn't have done that quite so <laughs> blasé. Um, I would very much like to know where the... Obviously, somewhere there is a, a hazard suit because there were steps out of lava. <laughs> I would like to know how this chap, which is me, is supposed to, uh, oops, that wasn't smart, supposed to, uh, find the, help, help. Is that good? Not necessarily. <laughs> the, the secret that that clearly is hiding. Repel these rockets in a slightly more efficient manner, please. I, I came up worse. <laughs> Having gone all the way to get the HP, I, I actually came up worse than had I probably just not bothered. You can't get me. So, I'm trying. Okie dokie. This is seeming very much like we're getting towards the end <laughs> of this uh, particular episode here. What is it? Am I missing a button? Probably. Mm. I have to be in here? No? Did we save it here? Oh, just open. Right. Ow. This is it. We have one of four secrets. I'm going to do a quick sweep. Uh, uh, so I tend to try and do an impression of sweep from Sooty, but that was really hard to do. He has a squeaky thing, right? And I don't know how to perform it. I see that. Uh, ooh. So that was cool. I'm, I'm happy to have found the secret. I don't know if we're going to make much use out of this quad damage. It's one of those uh, levels where you don't get any help returning to the bit after the particularly difficult um, the difficult um, this is where it is. Difficult zone thingy. I mean it might just be that there isn't one. But it seems so obvious. You see that? Look for more more things to shoot. <laughs> Last time I went through um, looking for secrets and I didn't find any of them. You're probably shouting at the screen going, uh, it's right there, you dope. But, you know, uh, it's not as obvious when you're, it's one of those uh, sort of creator blindness, right? I guess that's what you might call it. Like, why would I shoot everything like this? None of these are obviously different, right? That's not how it works. Let's have a look down here. Jump off. Um, but uh, the secrets that I missed that time were super obvious. Just let me through. <laughs> let me go back. I want to go back. Uh, when I wasn't recording, anyway. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more vigilant because I noticed there were like patches of wall and stuff that were super obviously intended to be shot at. <laughs> so I shot at them and they opened. Uh, things like that, so... Uh, I don't even think I did find all of the secrets in that level, or even on the second time through, to be honest with you. So it's not like it was super egregious of an error, but at the same time... Should do a little bit of diligence. And you're probably shouting at the screen going, you just stared right at it, go and press that button. And I, I can't see it, bro. I can't hear you either, I'm sorry. Hello. Where did this come from? What did that do that for? That's interesting. Why would you do that? That is so that you can fight this dude on your terms. I get it. 
Didn't spot that last time. <laughs> it's not interesting. <laughs> Anything in here that we didn't see. It's a pretty clear tomb. You know, it's not... Like, if you, if you shoot this, and then you get pushed in, but you could close the door with that. I don't care. Jump. I think I have done as much vigilance as I intend to. Like, I found that Jesus statue secret really easily. But, eh, uh, whatever. We managed to at least heal up sufficiently that going through this... Oh, okay. Going through this, um... Portal over here is, is not the most terrifying thing in the world anymore. <laughs> so let's do it. That was the end of that level. We didn't really find anything better, but found some things. Uh, that was a really, really helpful level. Let me uh, just, sorry, I'm going to tap out. 20 minutes, okay. I always forget to make sure that I can see my, um, my recording timer before I cover, uh, actually press start because... Of, Oh, I remember this actually. So I must have done this. This is what I uh, thought I was just going through just now. Is this um, where you get jump up here? You get stuck through like this, whoosh, and then pushed out into here like this, and you have to fight these things. I do remember this, but I think what I was doing for a while uh, back in 1990, etc., was um, skipping levels and having a look. I just wanted to know what the levels were rather than actually playing the game. I mean, you got to cut me some slack. I was young, and there's a certain um, certain desire of youths to not necessarily play by the rules, which is a big part of. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, why you might choose? To, okay, so this is obviously way back in. Uh, to I mean, I used to play Doom with God Mode on. I think I said so whilst I was playing Doom itself at the time, actually, but. I'm not, uh, I'm not ashamed of it. I was young and I was playing the game the way I wanted to play it. In fact, shame on you for shaming me for playing the game as a child, like a child would play it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's let's not die here. We can avoid it. Help. But also save precious ammo where possible. Which we've already wasted. So. I don't know. I want to say wasted. I used my shells. And that meant I didn't have to use quite so many lightning bolts. Which is grand. Let me believe these levels are joined together by teleporters. Inconceivable. But not much armor left, but at least we've got plenty of HP. Oh, that's a great consolation right now. I wonder if we can get up there when you run, when you like fly out of the tube. I wonder if you can land on that because I don't see any, way of, any other way of doing it except for maybe doing a crazy rocket jump. Apologise for the lighting. I hope it's not affecting anybody. If it is, uh, look away. I'll look away and I'll, I'll let you know when we are out of this blinky corridor. It's very long and has a baddie in it. It's trying to give me a headache. What the heck? I died. Everybody, friends. Did you see that? I, I died. <clears throat> it's inconceivable. Well, we're back out of the blinky corridor, but we're going to be going back into it in a minute. So, uh, keep vigilant. I want to get this bit over and done with ASAP so that we can, uh, stop faffing around so much. That was very Half Life. Where's the other ones? There you are. They do appear, don't they? They really like just showing up. Unannounced. Uninvited. They don't even make a tweet noise, they just appear. Maybe that's their thing. They've always been there, it's just now they've phased in. It's okay. I don't care about the ouch. Don't have used both of those. Uh, I'm going to save it because I'm sick of doing that. Right, so now we have a quick look. Can we... Not really? This is cool. No, there's no air control. 
Even if you try your best right now. It doesn't appear to be any air control. Ow. Right, that's everything dead there. Then we want to get... There's a lightning gun here. That's nice. Where are the things that accosted me last time? That's the real question. I can see all the things, but I don't know how to get to them. There you are. Back in the uh, blinky corridor, so... <laughs> Vigilance if that would affect you. I'm zapping everything with lightning because we were gifted... I found a secret. How? <laughs> I accidentally fell down a secret. I got some nails. Anything else? No? Oh! Very nice. I picked up the quad damage by accident, but that's okay. Let's go in here. I'm going to shoot everything I can while the quad damage is still on. Uh, and then... We'll uh, come back and finish the rest of the particular level. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Drac. This might not go well for us. <laughs> what what went aside just now? Oh! Lord. So we'll, we'll do that again. Why are these fiends so good at hurting me? <laughs> Alright, here's a couple of things we learned. First of all, we don't need to try and get this area to pay out for us. We can just kill these things at our leisure. Um, because we know how to get up to the quad damage. And next time, we will not take the quad damage. We can avoid it. Uh, you're dead. Right, cool. Until... I'll save... I'll use some more lightnings before I pick up the gun, because it's going to have some in it. Right? Oh, that's quite a lot. I've already used, actually. I didn't have many in it either. 15, maybe? Right, everything. That's all dead. Let's go and get that secret, which we know about. Save it again. Um, I know I'm safe scumming, but you can't stop me. Uh, and if I die again, I'll probably be the end of the, the level there. So here's our secret. Bit of nails. Oh, pest. Picked up the quad. Oh, flipping heck. <laughs> it actually arrests your momentum quite considerably when you jump on the... Uh, jump on the, the, the air thingy. So uh, that's a shame. Because it means that you can't maintain the momentum, jump on the air thingy and do sort of a portal-like... To, to go a bit further. It's in here. So this is a apparently completely empty <laughs> tub of water. We're going to avoid picking up the uh, suit thingy. We're going to go back down our secret area. And this time we're going to try properly to get onto the... <laughs> Just watch me do this several times over, and that'll be the end of the lesson. Uh, the end of the lep the end uh, of the, uh, the episode. Here ends the lesson. <laughs> Meh. Wonder if that strafe jump is a part of Quake One. I know it was a part of Quake Two, and I could never get the hang of it. But ah! I, I, literally, I'm pressing the space bar, and he's just refusing to jump. Let's try this one more time. Uh, I have a feeling I know where to jump from. I think you have to stand on this first. But I keep uh, stepping on this, and it's just after you step that it refuses to allow me to to jump any higher, jump a second time, it's because I already made the step. Right, we managed it. <laughs> it didn't even credit me with a second secret. There's literally no benefit to me doing that. And we are out of the really super annoying uh, space there. Okay, uh, I... I'm reluctant to take this um, thing here because when we jumped down here last time, that was not deep water. So I think we used that to get into there at some point. Probably to get up there. I can see you. Let's call this the episode once we've dealt with these jokers. I can see you. You can try it. Oh, hello. This might be a way out, actually. This might be where you land from somewhere else. So those are waiting for me on the way in, but uh, no, it's not going to happen. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's save that there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you will be joining me 
in the next one. I hope you'll join me on all the other series I've got going on as well, including a little bit of uh, Stoneblock Minecraft. So that one's there for you to watch as well. Go check out all the cool stuff in the description and everything. And look on the channel and join us on Discord. That's in the description too. And I'll see you next time.